not. I was spending way too much time on the thumbnail. Honestly, guys, body dysmorphia, dysphoria is real. I hate the way I look sometimes. And I just can't take a good picture sometimes, I'll tell you what. But either way, that's not why we're here. We're here to cook some food. It's been a second. I need to do a cooking live stream for you guys. This should be pretty easy of a recipe, TBH. Just, ah, frick. Let me just get this thing down. My stuff kind of sucks, but we make do with what we got. So, crock pot. Crock pot. If you're like me and you like to save money and you don't like to spend a lot and you need something easy, I'm like, just throw a bunch of crap into a crock pot, let it cook for six hours. Mwah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Also, I'm freaking kind of sick, you guys, and taking the pictures, my like lymph nodes are really swollen right now. They have been for like a week or two. I'm starting to think it's like maybe it's a tumor. I don't know. <laughs> but straight up. Straight up, I'm like, I can see my face bigger. My face is bigger. There's like a lump or something that I was seeing when I was trying to take a thumbnail. I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to make that known. It's like, hey, hey, I'm dying. <laughs> but is it straight? There we go. But no, I like wrote a little note thing. We're going to have a good time. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Super dope. I Aaron sent me a TikTok video from a guy named Luke. So we're doing Luke's Luke's uh, crock pot chicken recipe. Chicken Parmesan seasons it up. It's probably gonna give you like explosive diarrhea to be honest, but I think it's gonna be really tasty and honestly worth it. So follow along if you want to make it yourself. It takes six hours in the crock pot, so make sure you're trying to plan ahead. You know, like I should have honestly started this like an hour and a half ago, but. We, we try to plan, we try to plan. Either way, we're gonna get some tatoes. We're gonna get some tatoes. I don't peel the skin. You guys can if you really want to, if you're feeling up to the task. Frick, but yeah, these tatoes. These tatoes are about to go bad. They're starting to like grow little babies off of them. So we're gonna have to cut them up. We're gonna cut them up, wash them up. Um, let me get a knife. Like, I tried to get everything out ahead of time, you know? So, hopefully, there we go. Get off the babies. <laughs> but you gotta cube up the potatoes, you know? You need about, like, I don't know, a pound of potatoes. Cube them up. Let's see how fast we can do this live stream today. I am not feeling good, you guys, but I'm also not feeling, like, incredibly bad. So I'm like, I'm still gonna go to work today, but I really don't freaking want to at the same time. One of those things. Ugh. Where it's just like, God, I should just go. But these potatoes aren't looking like they're bad. These are still fresh. It's just been like a day. Things go bad so fast sometimes, you guys. So fast. There we go. Is that a happy time, happy boy? What's up? <laughs> Cutting up some potatoes, agate, watch out. Mm, yeah, this one has some babies too. You gotta kill the babies off really quick. But we're still just like cutting up some potatoes, dicing that mofo, make little squares. There we go. Just don't cut yourself. I'm trying to go a little fast because I'm like, I don't want to spend all day cooking these potatoes or cutting them. God. See, I'm sick, you guys. I can't, like, think straight sometimes. Just like... <laughs> like my chin, neck area. I don't know. It's, like, definitely getting swollen. I should have probably called out, honestly. <laughs> but it's like, I feel well enough to do this, so I'm like, yeah. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, this is a, honestly, watching the guy, like, do it ten times, because you, you gotta read the recipe before you cook, you guys. You gotta be prepared when you're cooking, know what you're getting into, that way you're not missing steps, or, you know, you're just preparing things ahead of time, because that's my best advice, you know? Don't, like, cook as you're going, make sure, like, you read it. Read the recipe, watch the video, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. It floats my boat. 
almost just cut my freaking nail off. Alright, that's pretty good. But yeah, and I don't like weigh out any of the meat or the potatoes. I kind of just like wing it on that end of the spectrum. So I'm like, we're gonna be winging it just a couple of things today. Even in the recipe, it kind of says to wing it on like seasoning the potatoes. So we'll just like do whatever feels right. Remember when you're cutting fast, when you're cutting, you want to curl in your fingers. You're following the edge of your knuckle. You could possibly cut off a knuckle, but hey, that's, that's if you're being like real crazy, you know? So yeah, just don't cut off a fingertip. Bam, just like that, easy peasy. I just taught you how to cook, you guys. And also, just gotta say real quick, Thank you for 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. We hit 5,000 today. I don't know if I'm gonna stay at 5,000. Sometimes it like goes back down a little bit, but no, we made it. We made it and I'm feeling pretty cool about it right now. Honestly, like, thank you, you guys, thank you. We're, we're still growing, we're still doing stuff. I'm not making any money yet from this, but I'm like, it's all for good fun. It's all for good fun, honestly. And if I do end up making money from it, I'm gonna put it back into the videos. We're gonna make some better videos, go places maybe, I don't know. But I'm getting pretty into this content stuff. It's fun, it's a good time. Definitely need to do more though. It's just more, 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 as much as we can. And that's why we made it to 5,000 subscribers already, so thank you. I'm gonna do a giveaway soon. I got like some clothing and whatnot I wanna like give to somebody, I don't know. If you guys want stuff that like I've worn, I don't know. I just, like I don't think it's weird because I like secondhand stuff, but I'm like I got some cool pieces that I'm like, hey, let's uh, let's give this to somebody. I don't know, but yeah, the details will be soon. I gotta do like a thank you short though and some other stuff. I'm not, I'm trying to plan some better videos. That's honestly what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm trying to plan some better videos some like more original videos and vloggy stuff. So I'm like, stay tuned. Stay tuned for stuff more like this, you know? All those damn potatoes are cut up. So we gotta wash them. We'll wash the crap out of them. So let's just throw them into a bowl. Sometimes they fall on the ground and into the sink off the backboard. You guys, I'm a baller by heart. I had a basketball court growing up at my uh, family house, you know, but I, I like I never used it. I never used it. I could have been like in the NBA probably. I could have utilized that, but no. I was like running around playing like God knows what. Yeah, just wash those bad boys with water. You don't know what kind of chemicals they're spraying on them nowadays. Probably like some freaking mind control BS if we want to go that far into it. But nah, wash your food, you guys. Wash your food because there's so many things out there where it's like, hey, they just started doing this, but we don't know the long term effects of it. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be like patient zero of like, hey, the stuff we've been spraying our food with all this time is giving people cancer. I'm like, ah. That's not good. But those potatoes are looking pretty clean, so what we gotta do now is put them in the crock pot. Put them in the crock pot. That's a lot of potatoes. I don't think the guy used that many potatoes, to be honest. You probably don't need that many. Probably don't need that many, but I make leftovers. We always need leftovers, you guys, so it's always nice to like kind of over make, overshoot. That way you're not just making one meal for yourself. I'm like, it's a crock pot. Make leftovers, you guys. Plan ahead. That's how you save money. That's how you save money. I'm all about saving money, you guys. I don't got a lot of money, so I have to. God, I'm spitting. I'm sorry. But next, next is chicky. Chicky. Well, I guess we could season this stuff. So this is the part where you kind of got to wing it with potatoes. So we got all of our potatoes cut up. They're looking pretty fresh. The person was like, you got to do salt. You just kind of wing it. Put some salt in there. 
Let's put some pepper. Bam, looking peppered, looking salty. I'll bring you guys over in just a second. But next on this one, it also called for some garlic powder. So a little bit of garlic goes a long way. What else? I kind of forget things. Olive oil, salt, pepper, paprika, paprika. Where is the pep? Where is the pep in my Ica? Come on, peppy. Peppy boy, where are you at? Oh, chili powder, not that frick. Do we have paprika? There's the Italiano that I need for later. Smoked paprika, not that one. Ha <laughs> ha. God, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's freaking right in front of my eyes, guys. Now, little bit of paprika season. Remember, we're kind of winging it with this one. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on, but that's that. And then I have some olive oil. I didn't have normal olive oil, you guys, but like last time my mother in law was here, she bought a bunch of different things, different expensive things. So, it, ooh. Oh, this smells really good. I think this is like olive oil you put on pizza, you guys, but like, like, I almost want to just like drink it. Eat. <laughs> but let's do the olive oil. Again, we're just winging it. You got to just put what feels right. Yep, got some olive oil. All right. And then we give it a stir. You got to stir it, you guys. Where's a freaking spoon? Ooh la la, look at those all seasoned up. We give it a stir up in the pot. And yeah, it's looking like, I don't know, we're gonna be adding like more seasoning later, so I you, you can overdo it, you guys. Less is more when it comes to cooking sometimes, cause whoo, it's falling out. Oh, freak, it bounced back, did you see that? <laughs> Into the sink you go. <laughs> but <laughs> less is more. Less is more. Oh yeah, that's looking fire, you guys. That's looking fire so far. <clears throat> this is why I get zits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about that. Alright. So Looking fire, looking fabioso. This is where we're at right now with those tatoes. So, next step, next step. Is the chicken, the chicken, the protein. I imagine, I don't know. I don't know for the vegans and vegetarians out there. I, you, the guy said you could cook this in a skillet as well, so you could probably make your own stuff, but crock pot chicken. Chicken for the meat eaters. I used to be vegan. I used to be a vegetarian, vegan. But Erin, she changed me. She changed me. She's a meat eater. She's low on iron. She needs it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's cut up the chicken. You got to cube up the chicken too, you guys. I don't know how much this thing is, but it's probably like a good pound. That looks like a pound, right? That feels like a pound. Sick. Here, let's get the light closer. I feel like it's so dark all the time. Salutations, comrades. Let's see, move you guys closer. What's up? This is a live stream. I don't have time to edit. <laughs> Here, but I gotta get you guys far enough back to actually see. Frick, ah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good, you guys. All right, got some chicken. It was like freaking zip, freaking locked. I don't know how to describe it. Airtight stuff that my mother-in-law does. She saved a bunch of food for us. But just some big old chicken breasts. Dripping. But let's get up in there. Make some chicken cubes. Let's cube it up. All right. All right. 
kind of... Ugh, it's so slimy. Chicken uncooked is gross. Honestly, it's all meat. All meat is kind of gross when you think about it. But... It tastes so good. Why does it taste so good, you guys? I wonder, like... I don't know. I guess, like, maybe, like, there's an Ooga Booga caveman back in the day, because I'm always just like, who was the first to do everything and anything, you know? Who was the first Ooga Booga to, like, discover that you can eat other animals, you know? And that, like, that protein. Was that just, like, instinctual? You know how, like, wild animals eat each other? Like, we are just wild animals at one point, right? Did, was it just, like, instinctual and we just knew it? Or, I don't know. I don't know. That's something to think about. That's some thought-provoking stuff right there, you guys. You're welcome. But yeah, we don't need, like, too big of chicken cubes, because, again, leftovers. You want to try to, like, stretch it out. I feel like if you make smaller pieces, you can, like, eat more? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's how it works. It lasts longer. <laughs> Cause yeah, I remember that was something that my friend said with spam one time. Cause it's like, I was cutting like too thick of pieces and she was like, like you gotta cut them thinner. So it like, you know, like more people can eat and you can eat more. I'm like, it's the same crap. Like somebody gets two pieces versus one piece, but it's the same size. I'm like, isn't that the same thing? But it's not, it's not. But we're almost done cutting up this chicky chicky into little cubes. Nice and slimy and nasty. All right. It talked about like cutting off any like undesirable pieces, or at least the guy did, but I don't know. I keep the fat on. I keep the fat on. I'm just not gonna go that far into it, you guys. But we got our goopy chicky. We got the chicky icky, and we're gonna put it in the crock pot now. We're gonna put it in the crock pot. Chicky icky, crock pot. God, it's slimy. Something I'm always so paranoid about, you guys, is like meat going bad. I'm like, I'm about to give myself freaking food poisoning sometimes. I think I've stressed, I've stressed that in a couple videos too. I'm like, this doesn't look good, you guys. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> But no, we're doing good on time. We're doing good on time. It's probably gonna be done at eight now. God dang it. Takes six hours to cook on low, you guys. Six hours. Ah. But like, check that out. Check out all that chicky icky up in there. Yum. So on the chicky icky, we also need to put a little bit of salt and pepper. It calls for half a teaspoon. And I'm gonna say that that is half a teaspoon right there. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna say that's a half a teaspoon right there. Wow. Um, <laughs> then a whole teaspoon, a whole teaspoon. How much is a teaspoon? I don't know. We're just winging most of our stuff, you guys. We'll say that's a teaspoon. That was probably more than a teaspoon. Go ahead. But Italiano seasoning, a teaspoon of that. Oh, that, there we go. I don't remember if he stirred everything. I don't remember if he stirred everything. I don't think he did though. I don't think he did. I did watch the video enough times, <laughs> but we're, we're not gonna stir it. I say screw it. Ew, I touched the chicken again, why? Um, Garlic, we need garlic. I almost forgot about the garlic, but then we have onion powder. Onion powder, we need a tea. Oh. Teaspoon of onion powder. Ba, 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 ba. Oh god, that was more. That was too much. Ah. <laughs> Guys, and you never need to buy real garlic. Just buy this stuff. Look at this. Look how much garlic is up in there. Like you're gonna be pooping garlic after you're freaking buying that jar. Now. Need a spoon. We need two tablespoons, you guys. Two tablespoons. So a little bit more. A little bit more. 
I think I'm going to stir it, you guys. I think I'm going to stir it up. There we go. That's, we'll call that two tablespoons. Why not? Why not? Now, the piece de la resistance. I've never eaten this. I've never tried it, but should be yummy. Should be yummy for your guys' tummy. Let's move you on in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some things, you guys. He said, don't use too much of this. He said, don't use too much of the buffalo Parmesan garlic sauce unless you're going to eat some Tums <laughs> with this. So that's why I'm like, this might give you explosive uh-oh, but it's going to be freaking delicious. So let's open this up. Get it going. Again, you can add more later. You just want enough to cover the top of the chicken. That's what was told. There's a freaking seal on this. It's brand new. That's really good. That's really good, you guys. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Maybe, yeah. All right, we'll call it there. We'll call it there. Look at that. Looky Lou, look at that, you guys, yummy. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a stir. Let's give it a stir. Let's mix it up a little bit. Cause like the garlic's all in like one spot. Ooh, but it is looking really good, you guys. Let me show you guys. See, look at that. Look at that. So many potatoes, so many chickies. It's so saucy. That looks delicious. All right. We're going to throw this in the crock pot now, and I think we're done. I think we're done. All you got to do is let it cook on low for six hours. Six hours. So let's go over here real quick to the crock pot. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Crock pot, move dishes. This like contraption is so basic. Put it on low. Again, delicious, yummy. Oh, so <laughs> listen to that. All right. <laughs> It goes on, and that's good. So afterwards, after it's done cooking for six hours, I'm gonna set the timer right now, six hours. Six hours, you're gonna take off that lid, you're gonna sprinkle about a cup of mozzarella on that. Cook it for about another 15 minutes and you're done. That's it, everybody. With me jibber jabbing and talking, we finish that in 20 minutes. You guys have 20 minutes of time to make yourself a delicious meal. It's not healthy. I You can already tell. I'm like, we put some buffalo wild wing sauce on it. It's not a healthy dish, but it is gonna be so freaking good. So delicious. You can set this, Go go do a shift at work or something come back and it's gonna be done. It's gonna be done. And honestly, you could probably cook it even a little bit longer because if you have an eight hour shift like I do, it's like, what, what's the harm done? It's gonna cook too much? You know, it's on a low temp. It's still gonna be fire. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed the recipe, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Always a good time, always a good time. It's cooking up in there. It's seasoned, looking delicious, saucy. You can add more garlic Parmesan sauce later on as well. But again, let it cook for six hours. Take it off. Some Parmigiano, or not Parmesan, mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella cheese, one cup. Cook it for another 15, and then it's perfect. Just eat that straight up. 
You could probably add other vegetables to it too, you guys. You could probably get more creative. I'm just following the recipe because this is my first time cooking it, but TikTok recipes are the shisa, you guys. If you have not cooked a TikTok recipe, you have not lived yet because those mofos up on TikTok, they just know how to tingleize your taste buds. And so I'm pretty dang excited for this right now. I'll definitely take a picture, hopefully post it. I'll try to get Aaron because Aaron's gonna be the one to come home and unveil it and cook it. So maybe I'll ask her to take a picture for me or something, post it for you guys. But also cook it yourself, cook it yourself. This is cheap, this is easy and delicious. So again, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Definitely stay tuned for more, you guys. I appreciate all of y'all. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see us next time. Deuce, do.